Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we want to convert these numbers, which are currently in European format, and we want to convert them to UK format. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you have a look, UK format would have a full stop as a decimal place. We've currently got a comma, and it would have a thousand separator as a comma, whereas we've currently got it as a full stop. So we want to do the conversion. Now, there are actually a number of ways you can do this. I'll kind of show you two. The first is without a formula, the second with a formula. So without a formula, what you do is you select all your text values. These are text values, so they are on the left of the cell. Then you go to the Data tab on your ribbon, over to Text to Columns, go for Fixed Width, next. Ignore this step, next. And in this step, you go to Advanced, and what you've got to do is give it the settings for Excel to recognize the numeric data. So what is currently my decimal separator? Well, currently it's a comma. And what currently is my thousand separator? Well, currently it's a full stop. So I click on OK, and then all I need to do is click on Finished, and it does it for you. Pretty neat. OK, now let's look at a second method. I go to second sheet, we'll use a formula. And this might be useful if you want to keep the imported data, data that's been sent to you or you've imported into Excel. You want to show the conversion in another column. And if you were to change these, you'd want these to automatically update. So that's the only real reason you'd use a formula in this scenario. And the function I'm going to use is number value, specifically designed for this scenario. So first argument is text, so that's there. Second argument is decimal separator. So what is currently your decimal separator? Well, we have a comma. I just have to put it in quotation marks. Put another comma in to separate the arguments. And then it's asking for a group separator or thousand separator. So again, in quotation marks, that's currently a full stop. So you can see it's made it a number. It's over to the right of the cell, copy down. Now, to do, need to do a little bit of formatting here. So if I do Control-1 on my keyboard, I go to Number. If I want to show the thousand separators, I need to tick that. Click on OK. And there you can see my thousand separators as well as my decimal point. OK, now there's one other setting that you should really be aware of. And that might be quite useful if you wanted to show values that were currently in a UK setting, but you wanted to convert them to uh, a European setting. Now, if I go to File and Options, then I go to Advanced, there's a little setting uh, down here, Use System Operators. Now, on your computer, there are a whole load of settings that not only affect Excel, but other applications that basically define how numbers appear. So at the moment, we're using the system separator for the UK, which gives us full stop as a decimal place, comma as a thousand separator. But you can untick that and swap them around. So you can say my decimal separator is going to be a comma and my thousand separator is going to be a full stop. So they, they would normally be the other way around, but I changed them previously. So if I click on OK, you can see that it's swapped them around. So you do have that flexibility in there to change these settings in the advanced section here. You can obviously change them on your computer system, so that would change everything for every application. But if you just wanted to do it for Excel, there is that option there. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully that's been useful. If it has, please subscribe, and I'll see you next video.